here with someone who's right up our alley here at Asylum. Someone who's a little bit crazy. He's Mr. Billy Thorpe. How you going, Bill? I'm great. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Having a ball here at Lovey's party. Well, I just arrived. We just got in from Sydney, but it looks like a great night. You know? Yeah, I think it's going to yeah, rock all he's night. He's going to shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> any moment now. Uh, any moment. We've been Rat a boy! <laughs> we got rock stars hey! in the building. <laughs> We're asking everyone their favourite lobby story. What's yours? Uh, listen, I went to school with a lobby. Lobby and I grew up a street apart. I've known lobby since oh, I was excellent. 11, 12 years old. My favourite lobby story is you can't put on the air. You know, no, we lived no. together. We were school friends. Uh, he was my hero. He changed everybody's life. I think that. Well, knew him and knows him. Certainly, musically, he changed mine. Had a lot to do with the direction that I took in the 70s, as well as the drugs that I took in the 70s. He had a lot to do with those as well. Uh, one of the uh, absolute originals. I mean, Lobby is a one of a kind. I'm very sad that he stopped playing because he was also one of the great guitar players of all time. I love him dearly. It's a pleasure to be here, and the turnout tonight is a testimony to what sort of a guy and what sort of a man Lobby is. God bless him. Yeah, we're going to get you up here tonight. Oh, depends how I saw you I with get, your guitar you know? a little earlier. Yeah, I brought, a, I brought a guitar. I hope I'm not the only mug that did. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. I yeah. don't think so. Thanks, Billy. My pleasure. Take care. Thanks. See Bye -bye. ya. Here I am with one of the most fabulous voices that has ever come out of this country. This lady needs no introduction. Lovely Renee Gayer. Thank you for chatting to me. Can we asking everyone here tonight their favourite lobby story? Could you please share yours? I don't think I, I can do that. Why? I'm sure a lot of people will say that. Not on TV. <laughs> uh, he, he is, um, <clears throat> without a doubt, unique. One of the great musicians of our time. A great character, a great producer, a great wit in his dry, quiet way. And uh, just a one-off character. There's nobody like him. Wouldn't have missed this for the world. Thank you, madam. Thanks very much. Surprise! Shocked. <laughs> I thought I was Eddie Greek Burton coming down to see a band, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm being. No, well, it's all for you. I hope you have a great, great night. We've been having I've a ball all day. Yes, yeah. it's about time you got here and joined us. Thanks very much. Can you have your attention? Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Well, the party's in full swing now. I have Michael Giddings here with me, and we are asking everyone here tonight, Mo Michael, what is your favourite lobby story? Please tell me. Well, I don't know if it's my favourite, but the first time I met him when I was running dances as a kid, he, um, he tried to beat me up, I think, because I was complaining that the, 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 <laughs> Aztec, that the, it's true, that the Aztecs were late. But um, <laughs> obviously after that, we became good mates. You know, he inspired me a lot about music. He discovered the Sunny Boys. and was always a, a great brain to to lean on uh, when I was uh, developing Mushroom Records, but uh, I still think there's a lot left in the old boy and uh, certainly uh, is one of the classic Australian legends. Definitely, definitely. You're having a good time? We've been having well, a great time. we're ready time. to rock another couple of sarkis, we'll be away. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> so, Get on your lob. Thank you. Hi, who are you? Oh, I'm fat. Your name is? Shorty. Shorty, Shorty. No, Shorty. Shorty, sorry, Shorty, That's my it. mistake. That's it. That's very bad of me. It won't happen again. How are you enjoying tonight, Lobby's party? All right. Yeah, yeah you've been around with a lot of people before. Here yeah. you hang out with the rock stars all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's been great talking to you. Thanks for being on the silent. No problem. Bye. Shorty. Plug your band, plug your band. Yeah, uh, we're, we're called Sidewalk Tango and we do dance performance and comedy and things like that. And we're doing a, we're doing a little show tonight 
of um, some show tango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you tango too? <laughs> yeah, I tango with him. Yeah, ah. takes two. Okay, it's Nicole here from Asylum. We're here at Lobby Lloyd's sick to party. I have Mr. Glenn Wheatley with me, and he's going to tell us a little bit about Lobby. Well, I actually go back way to the beginning in Brisbane days when uh, Lobby actually gave me my very first chance in the music industry. So I've got Lobby to blame for all of my my 33 years in the business. <laughs> I think we'd say we've well, got Lobby to thank. Well, he, he actually gave me, lent me my very first Vox AC30 amplifier and my very first 12 string Rickenbacker and he allowed me to actually be uh, a temporary member of the Purple Hearts, a very legendary band from Brisbane that I absolutely... Excellent. I, uh, it, it was enough for me to be convinced that the music business is where I want to be. And, uh, and unfortunately for me, I was only 16 at the time, and uh, I wasn't allowed young. to. I wasn't allowed to leave Brisbane when, with the with the heart. So uh, I didn't enjoy their success down here, but uh, I was there at the beginning with them, and it was a, a very formative part of my life. And I have Lobby to thank very, very much for that. Excellent, and we thank you too, Lobby, because we need Glenn Wheatley. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, Lobby, happy 60th, mate. We're looking forward to tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's been great. Yeah. Thanks, Glenn. Thank you. Hi, we're here from Asylum oh, right. for Lobby's yeah. birthday from party. Rob? We're from Asylum, oh, Channel okay. 31, every yeah. Tuesday, 10.30. Yeah, I love Channel 31, it's oh, fantastic. Oh, excellent. Uh, well, watch nothing us. like in Pit Lane, what a fantastic show. And Asylum. The way the guy doesn't bite his lips off, well, I've never seen Asylum, I must confess. Well, watch us on Tuesday night, 10.30, it's a great show. That's and you'll be on it now. That's only an hour after uh, in Pit Lane. Well, there you go. That's so very, you I can watch stay it. up and watch yes. myself on telly. It's a beautiful, I love it, it's a play and it's a play. So, what does Lobby mean to you? Are you having a great time? Lobby yeah, Lobby's Daddy. a great guy. In fact, the first live band I ever saw was Lobby Lloyd and the Coloured Balls at Festival Hall in... Oh, wicked. 1968, or... No, it's probably more like 70, 71, something like that. Oh, Long excellent. time ago, yeah. the first man you saw. And he married a very good friend of mine. This one over here. <laughs> there's, there's... Hi, Deborah. Mrs. Hi, Deborah. Lloyd. Hi, Hi, yeah. Mrs. And apart Mrs. from Lloyd. that, you know, he's just a hairy old bloke. Really? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you heard it through. That's it? <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been much. looking for Channel 31. Asylum, 10.30, Tuesday night. Excellent. Thank you. And here we have the lovely Mrs Lloyd herself having a ball, drinking and having a great time at her husband's party. It's excellent, isn't it? It's, it is. It's really exciting. And you have no idea. Everybody here well, we who lives in town said they've seen the, the invitation plastered over all the walls, windows everywhere. How could it possibly be a secret? <laughs> of course um, you knew. I knew. And I must have been the most boring person to talk to in the last two months. Because <laughs> everything I've wanted to say is about who I've spoken to or who I've seen. And, of course, and you yeah, can't and do I it. I will say that. Oh, you're a good Good woman. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice for it's nice for him that everyone's shown their support. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. isn't it? It's but he's been hiding up in the hills for 15 years, looking after my kids and our horses. <laughs> and he play, he writes the most amazing music, but I'm the only one that hears it. So, oh, really? So it'd be nice if he had a play later. Yeah, you yeah. reckon he will? He, might, he, he will. Might. We can twist his arm. Yeah, we've got a few. We've got a couple of Aztecs and a couple of rose tattoos. Yeah. And, you know, a few, few, few members of all sorts of times. Couple of balls are here. But are you, you going to get up and have a sing? Oh, I'm, uh, my daughters say I'm uh, tone deaf. Oh, I don't so, believe that. So I'll, I'll stick with that theory. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you've done a marvellous job. Thank well, you for talking well, to us, Deborah. Very nice. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. It's oh, it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Thanks. And here I've got Barney, who is not only a special guest, but you are a special guest of the guest of honour. You are. Lovey's nephew. Sure am. And you've come from Tasmania. Yeah, Tassie. Yeah, how'd you find the trip? Did you have a good trip? Uh, good, good. How's the party been for you great, tonight? Great, great. Yeah. Catching up with a lot of people yeah. you haven't seen for a while? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How long are you here for? Couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Oh, so you're going to spend some time with Bob and everything? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Thanks, okay, Barney. Thank you. Take care. See ya. Yeah, we're still at the Central Club for Lobby's party, and I've got Tessa, who is a very, very talented young lady. She's a singer of a band that's called Eccentric, but we're here to chat to her about something else because she's going to be booking local bands here at the Central Club. So get organised, guys, out there. This is how you do it. You send a demo down to the Central Club, corner of Swan Street and Coppin Street, and I'm going to give heaps of bands the opportunity to play. I'm going to be having all the premier bands headlining. So if you want to play, send your CDs down. Easy as that. Easy as that. Ah, Should I say my mobile that? number if they yeah. want to ring? Yep, ring o test. 041 444 3595. 
And don't ring me for dates, only for gigs. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because she's a cutie and I know you're Actually, well. no, no. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. You take care. Good no luck. worries. See ya. Okay, I've got Lucy and Heidi here, and Lucy is the daughter of Lovey. How do you feel, Lucy? Not very special. Not very special. Oh, I think you should feel very special. You've been doing a great job with the camera. I've noticed you got everyone's photos tonight and you've checked out everyone. Happy birthday and we'll let you go. Happy okay. birthday, Lobby. Happy birthday, Daddy. Lobby. Thanks, guys. It was great. You were great. Yeah. Believe me. Around here a little bit. I was just wondering if I could ask you a few questions. You're here for Lovey's birthday? Yeah. You are, you're having a really good time? Yeah. Yeah, what does love mean to everyone here? Are you related or...? No, no, just good times and rock and roll. It does, it's like you're in a band with yeah. Lovey or something. Everyone else seems to have been on No, something. no, just going to pubs. Do you have a favourite memory? Station Hotel. Station Hotel. <laughs> we just don't need to say any more on no, that. No, no. no. <laughs> Anybody else here have a favourite lobby memory they'd like to share? I just used to go and see him all the time at the Box Hill Town Hall when I was 17 and too young to go out to the Box Hill Town Hall. But I used to go in and skinhead dance to lobby. How embarrassing. Nothing <laughs> embarrassing about rocking and rolling. Nah. We want to silence! You don't want to Some people act crazy, but most Australians value life insurance. Some have problems with life insurance and superannuation policies. Talk to your insurance company first. If you're still unsatisfied, the Life Insurance Complaint Service can help. The Life Insurance Complaint Service is a free service. Call toll free on 1800 335 405. The Life Insurance Complaint Service, supported by the federal government and the insurance industry for Australian consumers. Join Chris Quinlan each week for Melbourne Musos. G'day, I'm Ed. I'm Michael Badger. Tim Wheatley. Mick. And we're a rock and roll band called Avenue. You're watching us on. I'm going to build this one right down. This one's a... Uh... It's a little mellow song called 668. Have a good
we're still rocking here at Lovey's Party. I've got these guys from Avenue. I'm going to go around really quickly and get them to introduce themselves because they are hot, they're happening, and you are going to see a lot more of them in the future. I'm Michael Badger, and I'm the lead front man of Avenue, and I like to pull lots of rock moves. He does, he does, he does. Tim Wheatley, lead bass guitarist. <laughs> it's a great concept. You've got to see this to believe it. I'm Mick Hyne, the drummer. Just the drummer. Just, just the drummer. Who? He's all right. <laughs> and Ed Van, guitarist, bit of lead, bit of rhythm. Bit of lead, bit of rhythm. You've got to compete with this bass that's going on here. Now, you guys have been together for about how long? Um, say just over a year. When the loud bass guitarist came and uh, joined, that sort of formed the band Avenue and have been kicking it from there. Yeah, made a few changes. Change the sound yeah. and the writing. Do yeah. you write as well? Uh, no, not really. I was going to say, you're the boss or something now, you just come in and took over, Tim. Well, I know, they, all, they all answer to me, don't they? But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's a good plan, I think. I yeah, think. I know. And you guys are recording at the moment and you should have something for us soon, yeah? Uh, triple A side or an EP, we're going to see how many tracks we want to put on. Uh, hopefully around August or September we're going to get someone out. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Check your gig guides because they will be everywhere. There will be an EP or something in stores in a few months time. Avenue, don't forget the name, check them out. We watch Asylum. Well, the party's over and we finally got him here. The man himself, Mr Lobby Lloyd. How are you today? Not too bad, thank you, madam. How did you go when you turned up and there's all your friends there and you didn't have a clue at all with your party, did you? Well, actually, my first thought was I saw my daughter there and she's 14. I thought, what the hell is she doing in a pub? <laughs> and then I saw my son and he looked, he's 16, he looked a little drunk and I was thinking, uh-oh. Got that one too by Dad. And then all the, the streamers went off and everyone said, surprise, because I, I was going down to see my nephew's band, Avenue. Yeah, they were great. Well, I didn't see anything after that. I just... <laughs> I bet. Need something for the shock. No, it was a good party. I enjoyed it. It was. It was fantastic. And it was great to see half those people. I mean, I had pals coming from all over the country and it was sort of a good part. I liked it. Very enjoyable. Do you know you're accredited for most of the careers in the place? Hey, that's only because they're liars and romantic and they're all drunk. <laughs> no, they were totally sober. We got them earlier and they, and they told us what a legend you are and how they love you and they want to see more of you in there. What have you been doing with yourself, Lobby? Tell us. Uh, Sitting up in the hills, raising the kids, writing songs with Graham and taking it pretty easy. And we, we, we make a few records with a few little bands around the place. That's the pleasure of it. It's a, uh, don't do much playing. We did a bit with Fish Tree Mother, but that was kind of an exotic taste. A lot of people sort of thought we were playing Swahili. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh. Gotta keep them guessing, don't you? Absolutely. <laughs> and all that, you know, uh, you can't stop no matter how much you try, I mean. I went to England in the, in the middle of the 70s and said I'd never come back, never play music again, etc., etc. The first thing I did when I got to England started working with a band and doing their live sounds. So <laughs> I was a liar to start with. Can't take the rock and roll out of anyone, can you? Well, you can't. And so you walk in, you hear a band, you go, oh, I like them, yeah. And you're gone. It's all over. So what advice would you have as a seasoned professional would you have for young up-and-coming bands now? Because the industry's changed a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. Believe very little of what anyone tells you. Do exactly what you want to do and don't take a real lot of advice because it'll all be wrong. In fact, the weirder, better and more crazy you are, the better your chances of being original. And uh, half the stuff the industry guys tell you, what they really mean is, we love the band, we hate the way you look, we hate your music, <laughs> we hate the way you dress, so if you change all that, then we could like you. But then the audience hate your guts. So it's a no-win situation. Stay true to your heart. Yeah. What else can you do? That's truly the secret of music, is to play exactly what you want to play as you feel it. Take no advice. Well, I'm with you on that one, Lobby. I knew that had to be the truth behind rock and roll. We've heard it from the man himself. Thanks for being on Asylum. Thank you, madam. And we're going to take a look at what Lobby does best and what he's well remembered for. Just ask the guys at the party. Well, <laughs> they're liars. <laughs> <laughs>
se pazi žiki to pa je nema meni najdo.